Yes, I do post a lot. It's Comics and Shots. A completely improvised, semi-comedic musing by Howard Stern's Mick the Man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd and YouTube and TikTok's Mick the Man. Today's subject, Magneto. People do not like writing Magneto as a full-on villain anymore, and I can't really blame them. Like, you know, they, they tried to pull it off with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants thing and everything. Then they decided, hey, let's make Eric Magnus a Holocaust survivor. No one wants to write a Holocaust survivor as a supervillain. It's just... It's just not. Anyhow, it's like, plus two Magneto's credit, the government treats mutants horribly. They treat them horribly. You know the meme, Magneto was right. Which Marvel then co-opted and meant it into Cyclops was right. I'm amazed we didn't go to war over that one, but still. At one point, Grant Morrison tried to, like, have him immolate people. People are really conflicted about the Grant Morrison run. Very awkward run. I love Grant Morrison, but... who they should stick to DC. And any books. And any books. Yeah. And another thing with Magneto, very confusing about if he's the father of, like, uh, Scarlet Witch and Nightcrawler. And... No, <laughs> Quicksilver. Is he the father of Nightcrawler? No. Nightcrawler is the kid of Sabretooth and Mystique, if I'm correct. Yeah. Yeah, they went back and forth on the Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch thing for years. That was very confusing. I think they even went back on whether Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver were mutants for a bit. I don't know what that was about. In Quicksilver, they kept trying to make, like, Marvel's The Flash. No. No. My prime evidence? How many Quicksilver comic book runs were there? Not many, if any. I can't even remember if there was one. <laughs> oh, God. You're not going to see a Quicksilver family anytime... Quicksilver family anytime soon. With Kid Quicksilver... But let's get real here. If they introduce a kid Quicksilver, he's dying in the first comic. Oh, wait, Speed. Never mind. Speed. Yeah, they do have a kid Quicksilver. Never mind. <laughs> okay, maybe he is kind of Marvel's The Flash proper. Yeah, holy shit. He's his nephew. Oh, my God. Quicksilver is a kid Flash. Oh, what? Ooh, forgetting myself there. <laughs> yeah, Mick can correct himself. It's amazing. And Wiccan. Yeah, who's married to Hulkling, and I love them both. Weirdest couple ever. Like, a wizard who gains power from saying certain words, and a shape-shifting Skrull-Cree hybrid who happens to look kind of like the Hulk, even though he, he's not Gamma Power at all. At all. Wow. What did this start from? Oh yeah, Magneto. I think he's still a mutant, yeah. Yeah. I know he was depowered at one point during that old M-Day event. On the subject, I feel the problem shouldn't be, like... The problem wasn't mutants, Scarlet Witch. The problem was discrimination. No more mutants. That bugged me. I didn't care for that. I didn't care for that at all. I say more mutants. Also, change the name from mutant. Also, just call Inhumans mutants, because they are. Do not tell me there's a difference. They're the exact same thing. Just like some different genetic weaknesses. You know? I mean, they're, they're all human. So what's the goddamn difference? This is why DC sticks to metahuman. Oh, well, they used to. Now they have post-humans, but I don't get that. No one does. <sighs> By the way, Magneto, he's too... Morally nuanced to just be a villain. He, he like anti-hero maybe, but not a villain. That was my primary thing. With that, like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. And always remember, praise be to the blood elk.
Can't wait to see the X-Men in the MCU. As well as for the MCU to just end. I'm a conflicted man.